What's up, YouTube friends? My name is Prince, and I'm an urban acolyte. And you know what? I really love Tai Chi. I love Chinese martial arts. I love internal martial arts. I love the movement. I love it for the people that it has allowed me to meet, the things that it has allowed me to learn, and places that I've been able to go. And I'm only getting started. When you talk about Tai Chi or any other Chinese martial art, people think of Gong Fu, right? This word Gong Fu, and I don't think people really know what it means. Like you hear, you think of like Bruce Lee talking about Gong Fu back in the 60s and the 70s, and you think of One Inch Punch and fighting and MMA and all this kind of thing, but that's not what Gong Fu means at all. Like martial arts, that is, that is an aspect but the word Gong Fu really means this thing, this great achievement that you've attained over a lifetime of hard work. And that can pertain to anything. Like, uh, I guess one of the reasons that uh, something like Tai Chi, uh, this idea of Gong Fu appeals to me is because, well, I grew up around golf. My grandparents raised me here in Nashville, Tennessee. And my granddad has been playing golf since he was like in his early 20s. He used to play with his father, my great grandfather, his brothers. That, that's all they would do in their spare time was play golf. So my granddad, about a week after he turned 83 or 84, he hit his first hole in one. And at the time, this was before his cataract surgery, so he could barely see. Um, we found out that he's actually not going deaf, but back then, uh, he should have been wearing his hearing aids. So he's basically uh, almost deaf and almost blind. Goes out on the golf course in the tournament with uh, other senior citizens, hits his first hole in one at the age of 84. I think he hit it with like a seven iron. And some of you, well, he's not that good. He's not playing in the senior PGA. He's not a professional. There's lots of people who play golf out of recreation. They, they enjoy it. They want to get better, and so every time they get out and practice, they get coaches, they get training, they get golf strength and conditioning coaches, and yes, that's a real thing, because I'm certified as a golf fitness specialist, right, through Titleist. Uh, but my point is, is that people watch these things because they want to improve at taking a, a, a metal stick and hitting a little ball into a hole and walking around and they do it 18 times and some don't even do it for money although it's probably the easiest way to uh, become a professional athlete in the United States and get your Mercedes and your million dollar uh, endorsements uh, by making it to the PGA but that's not that's not what everybody's in it for some people do it for re relaxation some people do it because it's a hobby uh, some people do it because it's good for networking in the business arena so when we talk about Gong Fu, this great achievement over uh, from a lifetime of hard work, this great skill developed over a long period of time, everyone has a different reason, a different motivation for their Gong Fu, right? Everyone who does Tai Chi is not trying to become a professional fighter in the UFC. They don't want to go improve their art uh, in some MMA uh, fight, right? There's a guy out here, because there's a golf course right behind me, there's a guy out here playing 18 holes by himself. He's just looking to improve on his own, right? Just like training Tai Chi, training a martial art, you might only really be able to do solo training. And so you get an idea of where you are, what kind of skills you have, and you're always refining. You're always refining that movement, always refining your awareness of the body, uh, your awareness of yourself to everything else around you, right? And that's really, that's really what make what separates uh, uh, Wu Da, a Chinese martial arts morality, from other martial arts that may not have that morality. Now, at the highest, at the top of the mountain, I believe all arts have that in common, right? All masters want to improve. They're always working on refining their art, right? Because that's what makes it a martial art. Leonardo da Vinci wasn't satisfied with his last piece of artwork, just, as, just the same way he wasn't satisfied with his first piece of artwork. Michelangelo didn't stop creating 
and say, okay, I've, I've, I've hit the highest level because there's always deeper, deeper levels. There's always deeper levels to your awareness. There's always deeper levels to your ability to create an art. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so that you can take your first steps towards becoming an urban acolyte. Embark on the journey of becoming the hero of your own story and become a force for change in your community. Make sure to check out more videos from this channel, especially the one that YouTube has recommended for you. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing and may the force of others be with you always.